Hey everyone, welcome to the Nero Spicy Mama. My name is Amanda, and um, I just decided last minute to throw the camera on. Uh, tonight is kind of like just my family. I told everyone to either eat leftovers or make your own. I do have some leftovers in my refrigerator, but they're just not speaking to me tonight. Um, sometimes I'm like that. It's like, what well, it sounds good to eat? I've just been in this really weird funk uh, with food lately. So what does sound good is, um, I, hopefully I'm saying this right, okonomiyaki. It's a Japanese uh, egg pancake. And I'm not going to be authentic with it. It is just like the inspiration that I'm going to take to make dinner tonight. So it's a really healthy one person meal. Although, I mean, obviously you could make more, um, but it's easy to just make a small amount. So let's get started. Okay. So I have a stainless steel skillet back here that I'm going to go ahead and start preheating. Um, and because my back is to it, I've got it on medium. So I just wanted to start getting hot. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to do two eggs, I think, because I'm also going to add uh, some other protein. So, and like I said, I'm just trying to make enough from one person tonight. So I'm going to put two eggs in a mixing bowl. And then I've got some panko breadcrumbs. Well, actually, before I add that, I'm going to go ahead and whisk these up a little bit. And I'm going to put just like a handful or two making this kind of up as I go. I just want a good texture. Ooh, pancake everywhere. I'm going to add a little bit more. So now we're at three handfuls. <laughs> I want the eggs to build, still be uh, sloshy, but oh, <laughs> I was so technical. But I want the breadcrumbs to kind of be a good binder. All right, we're going to go one more and then we'll be good. Okay. So I'm guessing that was maybe, I don't know. We're not going to give y'all an amount because I don't know. Okay, then I'm really excited. I found this at the grocery store today. Normally, I would add some a bunch of shredded vegetables, but this is going to make it so easy. So normally, I'd like... Maybe shred some carrots and some cabbage and broccoli. This is kale, cabbage, radicchio, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts all shredded up in a package for me. So there's a thing that um, people kind of can sometimes look down on these prepared things because, yes, I could buy all this stuff and shred it, and it's going to be a lot less expensive. So if you are working on a budget – then that's going to be your primary concern, um, of course. But I've been dealing a lot with executive functioning problems lately with my autism and ADHD diagnosis. And so I have been trying to find shortcuts to be able to make dinner easier. Okay, I am going to pull out the stock. Okay, and then this is another convenience food that... Again, maybe cost a little bit more money, but it's going to help me out when I'm really tired on a night like tonight. So it's just pre-cooked sausage crumbles. These are turkey, but whatever flavor you like. And then <laughs> we're going to mix this all together. And I'm going to add some soy sauce, and then we're going to cook it up. So my skillet should be nice and hot. You can also use a nonstick skillet. And then you're going to put enough oil that it's not going to stick. Okay, yep, I almost got it too hot. So we're going to let this cool down for a minute. But I'm going to turn off my flame while I mix this a little bit more. So you can see the egg and all the vegetables kind of coming together. The egg is going to bind everything. You can also add sriracha or you can do that um, at the end. I'm going to do like a sriracha mayo, I think. And then, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I let my skillet get too hot. I sh Normally I wouldn't be filming while I'm making this too. Okay, let me put two of these in here and then I'll show you what they look like. You can also make it with flour, but I found that I like the breadcrumb more. So here they're cooking and then I'm gonna let the I'm gonna turn my skillet back on kind of a low heat and then I'll flip them in a minute. <laughs> There's my daughter Izzy popping in because like I said, it's a make your own dinner tonight. And I just randomly decided, hey, why not film this the last second? Oh, look at that color. That, okay, hold on, you can't see anything. Let me show you. Look at that color. Okay, let me flip the other one. And then you can totally just eat these straight up or you can make a little sauce. And that's what I'm about to do, which is just really mixing mayonnaise with um, either sriracha or I think I'm going to use chili oil tonight. All right, not chili oil, but um, all right, maybe a little less breadcrumbs. I think I went high on the breadcrumbs, so it <laughs> absorbed all my egg almost too much but it's okay it's all good izzy just started some noodles in here to make instapot mac and cheese i will link that video instapot mac and cheese is the bomb okay so <laughs> In this bowl, I just mixed um, some QP mayonnaise and some sweet Thai. Regular mayonnaise works totally fine, too. I got this uh, for Christmas, and I need to make sure I use it up. While editing, I kind of realized that this is a bizarre Christmas present, but I loved it. My mom actually got me a bag of mixed Japanese like condiments and snacks, and it was really fun. It expires like at the end of this year. Wow, that's kind of scary actually. But regardless, I want to make sure I use it. And actually, it's really good. I think it's got sugar added to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so it's kind of like a sweet mayonnaise. And then I'm adding a sweet tie. But whatever. All right. So I'm going to drizzle some across my beautiful pancakes. Let me get a fork. These are just so good. And you, they're, they're so fast to make. They're very healthy. They give me crunch because I'm a sensory seeker. You can make them spicy. They've got so much texture in them if you're a texture seeker. If you're a person who doesn't like a lot of texture, this meal is not for you. Mm. I've never made it with sausage before. I don't think that's traditional. I usually make it with shrimp. Mm. Like if I've got leftover shrimp. But... I wanted to go for super fast and easy tonight. The sausages were already cooked up. Um, you don't even have to use sausage. I just, you know, thought I'd get a little extra protein. Mm. So, mm. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And leave some comments down below. What kind of meals would you like me to cook? Um, like I said, I've kind of been in a funk. If you want to learn more about my neurodivergent journey and my diagnosis story, because if you've been a follower for a long time, this is a very different look than Dit Dot. I thought I was going to be keeping the content the same, but um, no, uh, getting a late diagnosis has been really hard. And um, one of the things that I'm struggling with is I learned, I went through life and I learned everything as a masked human trying to fit into a neurotypical society. And now I'm having, but masking is really harmful for an autistic person's mental health. So now I'm having to relearn how to do everything as an unmasked person. And I'm in that like process of learning all this. So, all right, till the next one, guys. Bye.